Hey everyone, in this video we're touring a really beautiful and modern shipping container home in Kamloops, BC. The main house has two bedrooms and it's built with four recycled shipping containers. And there's an additional studio space that's connected to the main house with a breezeway. Kathy and her husband Trevor downsized to this small space three years ago and they've been living in it full time ever since. And they rent out the studio space on Airbnb. Kathy's going to give us a full tour and share their experience, so let's go check it out. The idea of giving a shipping container a new life was appealing to us. There's so many of these things, as we all know, and turning it into something beautiful and something that you can live in and hopefully last for a long, long time, I think that's pretty special. What I love about this place is the windows, obviously because of the view. And uh, I like small space now. I love trying to live a life of, uh, you know, a minimalist. At least that's what I'm trying to do. But I really have just grown so fond of it. And the fact that it takes me 10 minutes to clean is kind of a, an added bonus as well. So this is our third year here and Trevor and I are here full time. It's made from four recycled shipping containers. They're 20 feet long, and it was designed and manufactured by a company called Hona Mobile in Edmonton, Alberta. So this is, uh, you know, kind of what you see is what you get, 704 square feet. So even though it's a small space, we still have a full size uh, sofa and obviously two chairs. We can fit lots of people in, lots of guests can kind of cozy up. And, uh, you know, I don't feel like I'm missing anything in terms of it being all one, one big room. And having it all white is just like having a blank canvas. And really, I feel that the scenery is the artwork anyway. And then the kitchen is lovely because of the window that it has on the end. So it's a full kitchen, a quartz countertop. The cabinet space is great because we don't have a ton of space. It really makes you think about what you're purchasing. So. I don't, uh, you know, I try not to go overboard. The one thing that this place doesn't have, but you could easily put it in, is, is an oven. Because we have the outdoor kitchen, that's where our oven is now. Uh, so I, I don't worry about it too much, but it does have a microwave, a dishwasher, small fridge, and we have just a normal three-piece bathroom. It's got a full tub and shower and a nice window. And this is the washer and dryer. It's perfect. I don't need anything more. And this is the master bedroom. And, you know, pocket doors are great for space savers. So this is uh, what is affectionately known as my sleeping closet. It fits a queen size bed. And at the end of it is all of the cabinet space. And it's, it, honestly, it's perfect. It's really all, all we need. This is a den with another pocket door, which is nice. I mean, it's the same size as the other bedroom, so you could have a bed in here, but I just have my little desk and it's got wall-to-wall -wall storage and we put in an extra cabinet for coats and stuff by the front door. We used to live in a sort of a traditional 2,300 square foot home. And then after we raised our sons, we really didn't need all that space. You know, there's just two of us and we just thought, well, we'll just build our own shipping container house. How hard can it be? And then when you realize there's a lot of hoops to jump through, certainly for us in this area, there is. So when we found these guys and it was already CSA approved, it made it way, way easier with financing and insuring and stuff like that. From the time we ordered it till the time it showed up, it was about three months. So it's a really fast process. The house and the studio is on what's called a raft slab. So it's like 1,280 square feet. This is the breezeway. So it's a space between our container home and the studio. And it's so hot here that this is like a lovely space to hang out in in the summer months because it's nice and cool. You know, this is a black house. We live in a semi-desert area. It's really hot here. It's all windows, as you can see on the one side. So yeah, it gets a ton of exposure. One thing that really helped for us is the Kuluru blinds. 
and uh, so they're exterior and they just crank down and then obviously the curtains and we have a Fujitsu system for the air conditioner in the winter is as soon as the sun comes through those windows it just changes it you know we don't have to have the heat on and it's really nice and warm uh, so you've got to you know give a little bit on either end with the seasons You lower your cost of living because it's just obviously a smaller space, less space to heat, less space to cool, less space to be purchasing stuff and you know cramming it all in. So yeah, our cost of living went down for sure. Trevor does contract work. I'm a singer and a vocal coach, and we're both sort of transitioning into other things. And you know we've got this other space across the breezeway that's our studio and that's kind of developed into another project that's you know allowing some more income and this is the studio so this space is about 450 square feet and it's a traditional stick frame so it's not built from shipping containers like like our home but it's kind of made to look like that my husband and uh, my sons built it it was initially a garage and then once we got into it we thought it's such a nice space because of the big glass garage door we decided to turn it into a bedroom then we thought maybe we would turn it into an airbnb and that's where things have just completely taken off and it's been super fun it's not much bigger than a tiny home and we decided to put you know a double sink a full fridge and freezer and then a uh, toaster oven and microwave and table and sort of turn it into this whole place being one living space for guests. And this is the entertainment area. It's got a 55 inch TV and a turntable. One thing that my mom and I do is try and get a sense of who was coming and what they might like. So we'd pick a record according to, you know, what they might enjoy when they showed up. For the bed, we have a hide a bed because that way it's got a little bit more of a transition in terms of what you're using the space for. Hide a beds are notoriously not that comfortable, so we added uh, a memory foam and it's pretty comfy now. The view and the garage door, it makes a pretty nice space to stay in. Most people when they show up here, that's what they want to do is put the garage door up, sit out on the deck, have a glass of wine. The bugs aren't a problem around here. So we have a three-piece bathroom, but this has a walk-in shower and my son did all of the tiling and it's got a nice cement tile floor. Hosting guests here has been such a positive thing in my life. Getting to meet people from all over the world has been pretty cool. You know, I've made some friends that uh, I never would have got a chance to meet them in any other setting. So that's been such a, a nice thing. And then obviously it just shifted my life into a new career. And uh, financially it's been super rewarding. Airbnb has been such a cool experience that we decided, you know, now maybe we can start looking at building a, another tiny home. Then we are looking into experiences and offering experiences here. My son is a master enduro dirt biker and Kamloops is a mecca for dirt biking and mountain biking. So he wants to offer experiences in both. And then we have the outdoor kitchen. My other son is this fantastic cook. So we like to offer experiences to come and cook and, you know, break bread together. and. So we've got some exciting things coming up. This video is sponsored by Airbnb and we're excited to be collaborating with them. We've visited and filmed dozens of Airbnb spaces over the years and we've met a lot of hosts like Kathy who have benefited from renting spaces on Airbnb, whether it's meeting new people, paying off the mortgage or turning it into a full-time job. If you want to find out more about how to become an Airbnb host, we'll put a link in the description below. We're super inspired by Kathy's shipping container home and her journey to hosting on Airbnb. We'll put a link to her listing in the description below if you want to visit the Black Box Container Studio in Kamloops, BC. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.